Please kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were, before even time begun. You are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God, but in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself through god the holy spirit and mary you became jesus divine word made flesh you came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here so we may live and love hereafter dear jesus divine word incarnate 
Please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for some reminders. During the celebration of the Mass, we are all requested to wear our face masks and face shields properly at all times, to observe physical distancing of at least one meter from one another, to not occupy the seats with X mark, and to sanitize as often as needed. During the Holy Communion, we shall proceed by rows, starting on the right side facing the altar, after the last person on the right side receives the communion, those on the left side shall follow by the same order, by rows. Please follow the ushers or the directional signs on the floor. The Holy Communion will be given by hand. To maintain a safe distance from our presider, please extend your arms in receiving the Holy Communion. After receiving the body of Christ in your hands, please make a few side steps to the left or right, depending on where you are seated, and remove your face mask and face shield to consume the body of Christ. Please make sure to put on your mask and face shield before walking back to your seat. In exiting the shrine, we shall follow the same order in receiving the Holy Communion, except that those who are seated at the back will exit first using the main door. Thank you very much for your cooperation. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass and for those prayer requests placed in the Shrine's Facebook page. Thanksgiving from Evangelista family, Gloria de la Cruz, Judith de la Cruz, Maricel de la Cruz, Daniel de la Cruz, Domingo T. Manique, and Tining Alferez Apog. Special intentions for AP Himora Builders Incorporated, Daniel de la Cruz, Evangelista family, Gloria de la Cruz, Janice Zaragoza Dato, Judith de la Cruz, Maricel de la Cruz, Marianne Guting, Marites Valeroso, Harris and Florida Tabut, Mr. Irwin Tulfo. Healing for Anasita Huerta, Daniel de la Cruz, Gloria de la Cruz, Jerry Martinez, Joe Guting, Judith de la Cruz, Maricel de la Cruz, Nympha Pescador, Marianne Guting, Marites Valeroso, Dr. Abbott Sabio, and Joe Guting. For the souls of Amanda, Gabby June, Danilo, Edo Voges, Sulpicia Bernaldez, Angelina, Bernardito, Cosete, Emmanuel Jesus, Florencio Jr., Luisito, Marilo, Mark Daniel, Miguel Virgilio, Norberto, Eugenes, Teresita, Victor, and Vida.
evening to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Thursday on the first week of Advent. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Bel San Luis SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Jude Thaddeus will now begin. Great St. Jude in heaven's glory, patron of all who bless souls, in our trials be our refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding, Desolations, endless pleading, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy clients suppliant. Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy clients suppliant. Human hearts in desperation, me the dreary toils of life. Countless thousands have you strengthened by your power in their strife. Your warm love turns abating. For the hopeless, ever wailing, Saint of God, magnificent, Hear thy client suppliant, Saint of God, magnificent, Hear thy client suppliant, Good evening of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to our novena to St. Jude Tadeus, the saint of the impossible, the saint of uh, all things that are almost despaired of. And St. Jude has been uh, very generous in giving favors to those who pray to him and those who attend uh, his novena. And so, uh, dear brothers and sisters and our uh, viewers of the uh, live streaming, let us now uh, begin and uh, let us uh, pray especially for these uh, intentions of uh, the following devotees to St. Jude, Lita <clears throat> um, Tulano, um, intentions also of Rosie Suntai, Johnny Helen C., and family, Paul Carroll Galang, uh, Mary Rose Navarro, Joe Valencia, um, Maria Anita Alanis, and uh, Nora Abdullah. St. Jude, in this letter says, May mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance through the intercession of St. Jude. Let us approach with confidence, God, and ask him to give us the grace we need to follow faithfully his Son, Jesus Christ. St. 
Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Jude that the Church may constantly grow by the increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A short reading. But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Litany to St. Jude Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, Christ have, have mercy on us. us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, us. Christ graciously hear us. Christ, Christ graciously, graciously hear us. us. God, O oh Father of heaven, have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. God, O oh Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. God, O oh Holy Spirit, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Holy Trinity, one God, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Saint Jude, relative of Jesus and Mary, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, raised to the dignity of an apostle, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who had the honor of beholding the Divine Master, humbled himself to wash his feet. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the hands of Jesus. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who after the profound grief which the death of your beloved Master caused you, had a consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who preached the gospel in Persia. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who converted many people to the faith. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude restored an idolatrous king to health, both of soul and body. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude who took from deadly serpents the power of enduring man. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who, disregarding the threats of the impious, courageously preached the doctrine of Christ. Pray for, Pray us. for us. Saint Jude, who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine Master. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Novena prayer together. Saint, Saint Jude, Jude glorious, glorious apostle, apostle, faithful servant and friend of Jesus. Jesus. The, the name of the person who betrayed our Lord has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the, but the true Church invokes you universally as a patron of the desperate. Pray, Pray for me who is miserable. Pray for me that I may finally receive the consolations and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly the following. And that, that I may bless, I may bless God, God with the elect throughout eternity. eternity. Saint, Saint Jude, Jude work of miracles, please pray for me. Saint Jude, helper of the hopeless, please pray for me. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the sick. 
Grant Almighty and Eternal God everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Together we acclaim. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Let us now uh, begin our uh, Mass. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength, that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith, a nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you. For you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Let everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the ones who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to those words of mine and acts in them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been uh, set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. And it collapsed and was completely ruined. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, uh, we heard, uh, heard uh, the Lord or read uh, the Lord's uh, um, scriptures, uh, teaching. He said, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But the one who does the will of my Father in heaven will enter God's kingdom. Ano po ba ang ibig sabihin po nito? At ano po yung aral ng ating Panginoon sa atin sa araw na ito? Well, um, our Lord is saying that uh, what is important it's not really uh, saying, Lord, Lord, meaning you pray to the Lord or you uh, uh, say that uh, you love the Lord, but uh, you do not uh, put this into practice. So in other words, uh, it's only uh, words, words. It's only good intentions, but uh, putting into practice, well, uh, that is uh, different. I remember the uh, story about uh, a man who went to heaven and uh, St. Peter um, welcomed this uh, man. And the uh, uh, new arrival Peter uh, showed him the many places of uh, uh, heaven. And you know, he led this uh, man to a certain hall. At uh, nung pumasok sila, well, uh, nagulat itong uh, lalaki dahil lang nakabitin uh, po doon po sa uh, hall na yan ay yung mga dila, mga tongues, no? And of course, this man was taken aback and uh, uh, he was also scared. Uh, St. Peter, sabi niya, why are these uh, so many tongues here hanging? What is the meaning of that? And St. Peter explained to him, well, you know, the owners of these uh, tongues, when they were still on earth, well, uh, they had nothing but uh, to pray. They had nothing to do but had good intentions. But uh, unfortunately, yung mga uh, dila lamang nakapasok sa langit. So, um, here they are. Now, this uh, uh, story, um, well, illustrates that, uh, well, nakapasok sa langit sila dahil uh, uh, mga salita lamang or words of faith, but uh, they did not uh, 
practice what they prayed for and what they were saying uh, to the Lord. And now, the second thought is, maybe we'll ask, and Father, what is the will of God uh, that we have to follow? Well, the will of God, ang kaluban ng Panginoong Diyos, ay uh, uh, mababasa natin sa scriptures. And the will of God are is His teachings. And also, ito po yung uh, sinasabi ng ating Panginoon na heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. So, uh, it is the will of God it is uh, important for each and every one, his followers, to uh, understand and to follow his teachings. Um, well, the will of God is somehow uh, already summarized in the uh, commandments of God, the moral teachings niya. And... Um, to sum it up, well, it means yung do what is good and avoid what is evil. So, you do what is good for your fellow men and uh, this is also in the Ten Commandments. But of course, dear brothers and sisters, it is not easy to obey the commands and the will of God. And sometimes, uh, Really, uh, we uh, do not uh, follow, but we only recite maybe the Ten Commandments. Malala ko po yung isang pare na uh, was uh, giving a homily, and uh, he was uh, explaining uh, the Ten Commandments. And so sabi niya, <coughs> "Thou shalt not." Uh, uh, steal sabi niya ganoon eh sabi nung uh, isang kwan dito uh, dahil maliit lamang yung uh, simbahan sabi niya Amen Father Amen dahil ngayon maraming nagnanakaw at uh, sabi niya Honor your father and your mother Amen Father Amen and children do not obey their parents anymore then sabi niya Thou shalt not uh, Thou shalt not kill. Amen, Father, amen. So his voice was rising. And then when he said, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Sabi po ng mama, Oops, oops, Father. Hindi ka na nangangaral. Nakikialam ka na sa buhay ko. So, uh, yung pala, yung pala ay tinumahan uh, 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 mamang ito. Well, uh, dahil ang weakness niya, Ay, uh, yun na nga. my dear brothers and sisters my dear friends well indeed there are certain things in the teachings of our Lord that are very difficult and because of this sometimes we select what commandment we would like to follow but when it is difficult for us thou shalt not steal thou shalt not uh, covet thy neighbor's wife and so on and so forth, then it is uh, difficult to put into practice. So uh, uh, let us always listen to the scriptures and to the word of God because the word of God through our Lord Jesus Christ is the will of God in our day-to-day -day life. So most importantly that we practice the teachings of our Lord, which is the will of God for us. Sabi po niya dito sa ating Evangelio, those who do the will, my will, the will of God, are those who uh, have faith and their faith uh, stands strong because they are uh, based on a strong rock. But those who do not do the will of God, then their faith is 
uh, built on sand and when there is a storm when there is a strong wind this faith will collapse let me end with the uh, following words of a certain writer he said knowing the will of God is the greatest knowledge finding the will of God is the greatest discovery and doing the will of God is the greatest achievement. Amen. Confident that He will grant us what we ask for. We make our prayers to God the Father with a sincere heart. Let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious may be faithful to their commitment to God. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that politicians and all those who serve in government may be faithful to their promises and obligations. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that our faith may find solid ground in our examples rather than in our words. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that all of us who handle duties and responsibilities may carry out our tasks efficiently. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that our departed relatives and friends may finally receive their heavenly reward. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We pray also for uh, Lita Ilano, who has a special intention. Father, you are our strength in time of need. Open our hearts to your grace and lead us into your kingdom. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these uh, offerings we uh, make gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us 
to celebrate devoutly here below, gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, for he assumed at his first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and uh, so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made uh, manifested, we who watch that they may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that uh, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here and our viewers of this uh, living live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your presence. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, we may be gathered into one, together with uh, the apostles, with all the saints who have blessed you throughout the world. We may um, merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. And now let us uh, pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray you from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let's uh, greet one another. It is a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. With the body and blood of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Reminder, the Holy Communion will be done by a row starting from the right side, facing the altar. Ushers will guide you accordingly. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. With these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reinadimit. Pray for us. Please be seated for the announcement. With the theme, Hashtag PasCOVID, Halina Jesus, Banal na Diwa, Aming Pag-asa at Galak sa Panahon ng COVID-19, the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, has lined up schedule of activities in line with the celebration of the Advent and Christmas season this year. There will be a Family Advent Recollection on December 4, 2020 with Father Emil Lim SVD during the 6 p.m. Mass. The Simbangabi Vigil or Anticipated Masses will start or will be on December 15 to 23 at 8 p.m. The Misa de Gallo will be at December 16 to 24, 4.30 a.m. The Christmas Eve Mass or Miss Aguinaldo Mass on December 24 will be at 8 p.m. On Christmas Day, December 25, the Nativity of the Lord, the Masses are 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 11.30 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. On New Year's Eve Mass, December 31, 2020, is at 8 p.m. On New Year's Day, January 1, 2021, is the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. The Masses are at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. Our liturgical activities are live-streamed and open to the public in accordance to IATF guidelines. Hashtag PASCOVID poster making contest. The Christmas spirit will not probably be the same as before because we were faced with many challenges through all the pain, fear, and suffering. One thing remains constant, the love of God through Jesus, His Son. The contest aims to become an avenue of art expression to inspire and encourage us to keep our faith in the season of hope. The contest is open to the shrine community and the faithful. The contest will have the following categories with prizes. Senior category, traditional poster for 13 to 25 years old. Senior category, digital poster for 13 to 25 years old. And the junior category, the traditional poster for 7 to 12 years old. For more information, please check the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word Facebook page. Thank you. Before the final blessing, um, I would just like to thank uh, uh, those who uh, uh, donated, who shared uh, their blessings. Um, uh, in my appeal to um, uh, needy seminarians and also for uh, indigents, especially victims of uh, the successive devastating earthquakes. So thank you very much, uh, dear brothers and sisters. 
saka yung uh, nanonood who join us in this uh, live streaming. But may uh, I continue uh, to appeal to you again to please from your blessings from the Lord you uh, share us your blessings for our seminarians especially those uh, who are going home but the others cannot go home um, because of the uh, pandemic uh, uh, threat and uh, of course they could also not they cannot also afford to uh, to go home to the south Mindanao and to the far north so uh, sana po ay matulungan natin sila and this is how we nurture the vocation of our seminarians because seminarians are the future priests uh, bishops and even popes without seminarians we do not have priests missionaries and uh, bishops so uh, again thank you and at the same time I'm asking again uh, your help for our seminarians and indigent people that I am helping sana ito ay regalo natin galing sa inyo at galing sa Christmas bonus ninyo So we can uh, we can give a share to uh, our apostolate. Uh, kung gusto mo po yung magbigay, ay uh, bigay ko yung aking uh, um, savings account. Father Isabelo San Luis. Um, the account uh, number is zero 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 two two zero zero five one six two three so and for further uh, inquiry you may uh, email me on uh, bell svd uh, bell svd at gmail.com so thank you again and my and by helping our needy brothers and sisters and seminarians May you have a happy and meaningful Christmas. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. The Almighty God, through the intercession of St. Jude the Deus, bless you and keep you from evil and especially from this coronavirus. pandemic and uh, may the Lord also for those who are sick uh, heal them and that uh, Lord especially those who are seriously sick like cancer like those who have uh, renal failure uh, those who have cardiovascular sicknesses diabetes and so on we ask you Lord with the intercession of St. Jude Tadeus, the saint of the impossible, bless your people in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. God.